Hi everyone, just wanted to do a quick video just to show you what clothes I have bought to ride the Honda CRF 300L. A couple of you messaged me after seeing my uh, first ride review on the bike asking about the clobber I was wearing, so I thought, right, time to do a quick video. So I, I shall start with, now this is actually very cheap stuff and I'm going to tell you why I um, chose this as well rather than the traditional sort of motocross um, air tech sort of vest and the body armor and everything I ain't going to be doing that sort of riding so I'm going to be doing you know light tracks trails mud forest paths I ain't going to be tearing it up uh, uh, over logs and brick walls <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to go parkour on uh, on the CRF 300L. Well, not yet anyway, so maybe I'll get to that stage. But the reason I chose this is because, obviously, it's all protected. And the second reason is because I live in Ireland. So the light textile stuff just wouldn't suit the weather here at all. So I've bought uh, heavier uh, clothing um, just because... It's always freezing here, <laughs> certainly at this time of year anyway. So I got an RST jacket. Now wait until I tell you the prices of this. I thought it was an absolute bargain. So first of all, it's got the shoulder pads, it's got the elbow pads. Didn't come with a back protector, but I had a few of them lying around. So obviously it comes with the pocket for a back protector. So um, I just put an old back protector in there. So I'm protected everywhere with that. And this jacket was, wait for it, 110 euro. I, I, I couldn't believe it. And that's not on sale or anything. By the way, I bought that from um, online from a company called, and I've never used them before, but it arrived three days later and uh, does everything it says on the tin. That was a 110 euro from a company called thevisorshop.com. I think they're based in Northern Ireland, actually. Uh, and I love the look of it. Obviously, I chose the red and the black because of the green bike. So that's the jacket out the way. Same with the trousers, matching trousers. In fact, I only went, I've got a few pairs of trousers and jeans, uh, um, you know, with the protective stuff in. So I was just going to stick with them. But when I ordered the jacket, you know, on the website, it says um, other customers also bought this type of thing. Um, up popped the trousers. So I thought, why not? And I'll tell you why not, because these were only 90 euro. And they're fully lined, actually, so is the jacket that's lined, and you can take, can you? No, I'm absolutely telling you pork pies, you can't take any line, <laughs> lining out, but it is lined, like sort of thermal lined, so it's great for this weather, certainly at the moment here in Ireland. Uh, you can connect the trousers to the jacket with the zip, as normal. They've got knee protectors, pockets everywhere, uh, and what I like about these is that they have zips on the side so they can go over the top of your boots so you don't have to tuck them inside your boots. Um, now I bought this stuff rather than using my um, Alpine Stars gear because I, uh, I, I have a feeling I'm just going to destroy this stuff with mud, dirt and God knows whatever else so I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on this gear um, so that's the, the other reason I chose this. Um, I'm just going to use an old pair of gloves I have, they're, they're my sort of summer gloves. I wanted to use lighter gloves on a bike like this. I, don't ask me why, maybe you feel the same as well, but I feel more connected with the terrain I'm riding on when I'm wearing lighter gloves for some reason. I bought a, a, a set of the, um, uh, uh, the sponge uh, handlebar grips for me, Royal Enfield, the um, grip puppies, I think they're called, yes. Uh, and. I'm going to have to take them off because I just don't feel connected with the road anymore. You know, I, I, I used to be able to feel every bump, every stone. Um, and it's the same with gloves. The lighter gloves really make me feel every sensation from the road. Okay, next. Okay, I'm not going to go into the helmet in detail because I've done a full review on this helmet. Um, and if you've seen that, you'll know how much I love this helmet. It is the Scorpion ADX-1. I know the ADX-2 is due imminently, and indeed that's the one I went to order last November or something like that. Uh, it, it just wasn't out yet, but I can't say enough great things about this helmet. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it was only like 220 euro. So w what are we up to actually now? So the jacket was 110. Uh, the trousers were 90, so that's 200 euro for the jacket and trousers. Helmet, 220, and last but not least, the boots. Now, 
these are adventure boots. And the reason I chose these over traditional motocross boots is because when I go out on my motorcycle, I haven't just bought these, by the way, for the CRF 300. I've bought these because my touring bike as such is the BMW, the R1200 GS. And when I go somewhere, I like to walk around. And with these boots, you can, because there's a good bit of flex in. It's not, I'm not, <laughs> not demonstrating them correctly, but you know what I mean. You can actually walk uh, uh, places with these on. And um, uh, unlike traditional motor cross boots, uh, where they're fabulous protection, of course, but they're too rigid, too stiff. And that can even cause problems on a bike like this where you're trying to change gear stood up. Um, so there's a good bit of flex in this, fully waterproof, fully lined. I've only actually ridden once in them and they're uh, so comfortable, absolutely brilliant. Love them, so delighted with them. Price of these, these were 220 euro. <laughs> so everything seems to be coming in at around 200 euro. Everything in total, boots 220, jacket 110, trousers 90. Where are we up to? I was never good at maths. So that's 420. And the helmet, what did I say, 220, uh, 640, 640 euro. Forget about the gloves because I already had them. 640 euro for what I consider warm, really good protection against the elements and the sort of stuff I'm going to be riding um, on. So maybe I'll ch change all of this when the summer weather comes and I'm losing weight just through perspiring. But... We'll tackle that situation then, but for the moment and the climate in Ireland as I'm making this video, this is perfect stuff. So excuse me, I'm going to step inside my Winnie Bay Go, do a quick costume change and we'll go for a spin wearing all of this and I can tell you how it feels when I'm riding around with it all on. And here I am all togged up on board the CRF 300L. First off, uh, the clothing is really warm. So I know I was saying about going maybe a lighter textile in the summer. I'd say that will definitely have to happen because uh, it's a freezing cold day today. It's two degrees, so not quite freezing, but cold enough. And uh, I'm lovely and warm, which is brilliant for this time of year. So top marks already for the warmth and the lining inside this uh, clobber. Um, boots are really comfortable, changing gear, no problem, up and down seamlessly just like i'm wearing you know a pair of shoes don't even notice it in fact which is brilliant perfect fit as well um in case you're interested the boots are size what euro 43 and uh forget what size the jacket and trousers are but uh, it's unusual i order anything online and it arrives and fits the first time but somehow this lot did um, so uh, really nice uh, the jacket is extremely well fitted it's got waist straps as well so you can pull it in around the waist which is what I have done I'm also wearing the Krieger uh, backpack um, just because I like easy access to all the camera stuff and phones and whatever else I'm carrying um, uh, it's not a backpack it's a waist pack uh, it's 8 litres and uh, it's just enough to carry your essentials um, but uh, so back to the clothing, yeah, the uh, the trousers, actually, it's like wearing pyjama bottoms or something, don't even know, don't even know I'm wearing them, really good. So very impressed, very warm, I feel very safe with the clothing on because I know I'm protected in all the essential areas, so uh, all good so far. That's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Very happy I made this purchase. And I would consider... Oops, I'm going to put the brakes on and turn right here. I forgot the front brake on this CRF 300. Isn't the best. <laughs> so, so just as I sign off, uh, thanks a million for tuning in. I am very happy I made the purchase with this clothing. Uh, I would consider it fairly affordable for everything the boots the jacket the trousers what did i say a little over 600 euro um yeah happy out with that and uh, hopefully that'll last me for years thanks for tuning in if you like this video and you find it useful you might consider subscribing and uh, follow my trials and tribulations with the clothing with the bike and with everything else i can find to uh, to chat about all right folks i shall talk to you soon Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.